What a pleasure being in New York. I've been traveling around the country. I was in Chicago recently. You guys ever been to the Midwest? It's beautiful there. Nice weather here, Chicago. Nothing phases people in Chicago during the winter. It could be 32 below zero with a wind chill factor. People are outside having conversations. You know, Frank, you know what the problem with the economy is? <coughs> oh, my ear broke. <laughs> Help me find my lobe, man. I don't care about the lobe. I had a diamond stud earring I'd like back. <sighs> Drove in Manhattan tonight. Love driving in Manhattan where a red light is just a suggestion. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Typical New York driver's a mile and a half back. He's going, the light's yellow. I can make that. <laughs> a little competitive, aren't we? Ah, New Yorkers. We're a little envious of each other, aren't we? Especially when it comes to rent. New, New Yorkers hate anybody getting a better deal than us when it comes to rent. Nothing like living in a $3,500 studio. Your next door neighbor comes over, starts bragging. Yeah, I've been living in this building for 45 years. My rent's $1.50 a month. <laughs> 1942, it was a nickel. <laughs> if I die, I'm still gonna sublet. <laughs> I'm a little impatient. I don't know, I get a little, get a little impatient. Any impatient people here tonight? Like I go to a supermarket, they have express lines. I think they should have an express, express line. <laughs> Rename it, two items, cash, I speak English, I wanna get on with my lifeline. <laughs> All right? I know what I have to do. Because every, everything is a scam in this town, everything. I went to a girl who does, this woman does handwriting analysis. She swears she can tell anybody's personality just by their signature. I knew she was a phony. Ended a session, I wrote her a bad check. She couldn't tell. <laughs> Everybody's always trying to get something. I was at Central Park, on a park bench, minding my own business, right? A one-legged pigeon hops over to me. Is that the most pitiful thing? A one-legged, what do you do? You give a little piece of bread. I turn around, he puts the leg down, and goes, sucker. <laughs> the pigeon flipped me the bird. <sighs> I don't know, I'm a little on edge. Just had a birthday recently. You ever get birthday cards from your parents? What a farce when you think about it. Love mom and dad. Who are we trying to kid? You think dad ever signed a card in his life? <laughs> Is it my imagination? Is the handwriting identical? <laughs> Does mommy have power of attorney over daddy's signature? <laughs> what about divorced parents? Love mom, and your dad would have signed a card, but he's too busy spending time with his new girlfriend. <laughs> so I'm bitter. Because certain birthdays really hit you hard. You have a sense of mortality when you get to a certain age. I remember when I turned 33, I said, I'm 33. I'm the same age as Jesus when he was crucified. Like I need the pressure. Because <laughs> my mother gave me a hard time. She goes, you're 33, you're still doing the comedy, little sketches, you little skits. Now your friend Michael Goldstein, who was a nothing growing up, is a doctor now, and he's doing very, 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 very well. He's a specialist. And I know if I was born during biblical times, I'm able to do the same thing. You're 33, you're still doing the comedy. No, your friend Jesus at 32 was walking on water. Sure, he's the son of God. I'd walk in water too if I worked for my father. People now get married on Valentine's Day. Ever hear that? Come on, honey, let's get married on Valentine's Day. Isn't that romantic? When do you get divorced? Independence Day? <laughs> Frankie, how was your divorce? Great, three day weekend. <laughs> you can always tell if a woman's not too sure, sure about going out with a guy. Ask a woman for a home number, she'll always go, let me get my work number. How about your home number? I'm never at home. <laughs> what do you mean you're never at home? I leave work, I circle the planet, then I go back to work the next day. <laughs> I just wander aimlessly. Met a woman last night, asked for a phone number. She goes, I'm in the book, call me. Why don't you just give me a phone number? No, really, I'm in the book, call me. Call the information, phone number is Stephanie Johnson. I goes, is this Peter Fogel? I go, yeah, she told me not to give it to you. Because <laughs> we're all insecure. Men are insecure, women are insecure. Women are insecure about their age. You tell a woman she looks younger than she is, like the biggest compliment you'd ever give her. You're 30? You're kidding, you look like an embryo with a head of hair. <laughs> You're a fetus with a great figure, it's unbelievable. <laughs> you get carded at a daycare center, that's how young you look. Men are insecure about their height. Ask a man how tall he is, he'll strain up immediately. How tall am I? About 5'10 and a half, 5'11, 6'3. <laughs> I'm actually getting taller as we speak. Because <laughs> we do stupid things, men. I think we're always attracted to the wrong person. You know, Cupid, cute little baby, diaper, bone arrow. I think there's an anti Cupid. I do, a pissed off dwarf in a black diaper flying around with a stun gun. 
Because that's why men are stupid. That's why we go to we go to strip joints. There's absolutely no reason to go to a strip joint when you think about it, man. We sit there and we go, oh look, a beautiful naked woman I can't have. Here's some money. <laughs> Here's my ATM card, my pin code, leave me on because I'm a loser! <laughs> we just do stupid, foolish things. We just don't get it. To give you an idea when it comes to relationships, the black widow spider will lure the male into her web with her scent. Then they will mate. And only after she knows her eggs have been fertilized, then she kills him. <laughs> Did you know that? Going on for thousands of years. And yeah, the other male spiders don't notice a pattern. <laughs> Phil, I don't know, last night he had a date with Charlotte. <laughs> I, I haven't seen Stu Monty Craig Leo, I'll tell you, we're dropping like flies here. 